It is Saturday, April 13, 2024, and thousands of civilians have come out to massively show support for the National Council for the safeguarding of the homeland's decision to kick American troops out of Niger's territory. In the demonstrations, the public is requesting for the departure of the American troops without any condition or delay, and joining them are some members of the CNSP, who are equally demanding for the closure of the American airbase at Agadez, in the northern parts of the country. The members of the public are not only holding the march which has occupied several streets of Niamey, but have also written a letter to the United States military, and this is what the letter says. Most of the partnerships signed with imperialist countries and institutions did not allow us to escape our dependence on aid from 1960 to 2023. On the security level, the exponential number of deaths of our civilian and military compatriots sufficiently illustrates the tortuosity of this partnership. A partnership marked by the signing of military agreements that are far-fetched, since they are puppet in themselves. As proof, the presence of the impressive military arsenal of the Pentagon and the CIA, made up of drones, satellites and the free provision of our radio spectrum has never made it possible to avoid these numerous tragedies. As a reminder, on March 12, 2024, the American delegation which met with the government of Niger adopted a condescending and paternalistic attitude, characteristic of a slave-owning spirit. This is why the refusal of Comrade President General Charney to receive the said delegation motivated the spontaneous sitting of the synergy of civil society organizations on March 15, with a view to reaffirm the unwavering support of the people for their authorities. And in the demonstrations, the Nigerian students had not remained on the sidelines of the historic developments, and in their submission, this is what they had to say. The Nigerian Students' Union encourages any initiative aimed at recovering all of our country's independence and sovereignty, and we are ready at any time, in any circumstance, in all storms, even volcanic folds, to accompany the National Council for the protection of the homeland, because it is obviously in the defense of what is common to us, in particular, our sovereignty and our independence. This is why we also ask all socio-professional layers, in particular the actors of civil societies, and obviously our elders, to do like us, and align themselves with this cause as part of their interventions. The members of the National Council for the Safeguarding of the Homeland reassured the valiant Nigerian population, that the transitional government will do everything possible to defend the aspirations and interests of the Nigerian people, who want to hear that the state of Niger is free to choose its strategic partners, in complete sovereignty and in the superior interest of these populations. They also warned that, any partnership that is contrary to this will of the highest authorities of Niger, will be subject to the same fate as France and the United States.